You are now listening to The Shaw Report with Damian Banks. What's happening? What's up? What's going on? It's the Shaw Report, and I am your host, Damian Banks. Shaw Bears, alum, and fans rejoice. This is your very own podcast hosted by moi, Damian S. Banks. You know what time it is. You know how I do, so don't act brand new. Follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at Sports by Damian. That's S-P-O-R-T-S-B-Y-D-A-I-M-E-O-N. And Shaw University Athletics are on social media. On Twitter, it's at Shaw Bears. On Instagram is at SU underscore Bears and on Facebook.com backslash Shaw Bears. And we thank you kindly. Thank you for listening to the official podcast of your Shaw University Athletics, the Shaw Report, where week in, week out, I recap and give you a rundown of everything that's going on within the athletic department at your Shaw University. Thank you for listening. I cannot thank you enough for supporting. You can find this podcast on shawbears.com. Also on iTunes, if you search The Shaw Report. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Another week is behind us. Hope you guys had a fantastic one. The week ahead of us should be great. You should make it great. If it's not, then what are you doing? If you're just sitting around doing nothing, then you better get up, get out, and get something. Like Outcast said, but I digress. A lot of things going on in the athletic department at Shaw University. Of course, it's football season. We'll talk a little bit about the football game on the road. Shaw University was at Virginia State. Not the outcome that I know a lot of Bears fans would have expected. We'll talk a little bit about that. Also, going to give you updates on the Shaw Bear scoreboard, volleyball, men's, women's soccer, also cross country and we're gonna have another interview this week with women's volleyball coach at Shaw University Jonathan Polk he's in his first season the Lady Bears are on fire right now so I wanted to talk to coach Polk they recently just competed in a CIAA roundup at Virginia State in Ettrick Virginia so we'll talk to coach Polk as well today on the Shaw Report so without further ado let's get this thing going I'm gonna keep this thing short and sweet for the football game. You all know what the score was. 35-0, Shaw University went on the road to Virginia State. Shut out on the road. Was not the best performance for head coach Adrian Jones and the football staff. Didn't see it coming. After a scoreless first quarter, Virginia State just exploded. Shaw didn't really have any answers. They couldn't get anything going offensively. Only 18 yards rushing as a team. Um, Sidney Gibbs coming into the game for Shaw University. Freshman running back had been playing outstanding. He was not able to get going on the ground. Quarterback Torn Campbell had come into the game on fire as well, tossing four touchdown passes in each of his last two games. Campbell only 169 yards passing, no touchdowns, 18 of 45. Too many pass attempts for Torrey Campbell. Not enough running game, no bo- no balance whatsoever. Um, But when you get down early in a game, you try to come back. Defense tried to keep the Bears in it, giving up 406 yards of total offense, only 158 yards passing, but the Bears did give up 248 yards on the ground. If I were a coach, but I'm not, but if I were a coach, I would tell the team, hey, you know, tough loss. You guys didn't play well. We didn't coach well, but we're going to get better. We'll get better the next week. You throw this tape away. You don't even look at the game film. Why would you want to look at the game film of a 35-0 loss? You don't look at the game film. You move on to the next one, which is at Fayetteville State. This weekend, Fayetteville State just knocked off Chawan on their homecoming. Fayetteville State pretty much embarrassed Chawan. And you got to move on. If you're Shaw U, you took that loss 35-0 to Virginia State at Virginia State, but you got to move on because Fayetteville State is coming off a 66-20 to shellacking at home versus Chawan, and Fayetteville State is a ground-and-pound team. Stevie Green, 187 yards at Ch- versus Chawan. Johnny Gillespie, 112 yards versus Chawan as well. So if you're Shaw U, you got to get healthy. You got to dust yourself off. You got to wipe yourself off. Get ready for another road test at 
Fayetteville State. This will be a Southern Division matchup in the CIAA. Only good thing, silver lining about this loss to Virginia State is that it was a Northern Division team. So if you're Shaw University, if you can win all of your Southern Division games, then you still have a shot at competing in the CIAA championship game, winning your Southern Division, and going to Salem, Virginia to try to bring that trophy back to Raleigh. But again, Shaw University blanked on the road at Virginia State 35-0. to zero. Um, You got to throw the tape away, coach. You got to dust yourself off. You and your team get ready for a tough, tough road matchup at Fayetteville State. And I know you guys will do just that. We're going to move on. We're just getting started on the Shaw Report. I told you, big show going on. Big things at Guan. Um, after the commercial break, we'll give you the Shaw Bears scoreboard, breaking down men's, women's soccer, cross country, volleyball, all that jazz. Also, we're going to give you volleyball action. And we're also going to sit down with head coach Jonathan Polk of the volleyball team. After this commercial break, don't go anywhere. But if you do come right back, you're listening to the Shaw Report on ShawBears.com. Today's show is sponsored by Summit Hospitality. Summit Hospitality is a proud sponsor of Shaw University Athletics. With six Marriott-branded hotels in the Raleigh area, Summit Hospitality can manage all of your lodging needs. Make reservations for your family or group by calling 919-669-0576 and let them know that Shaw University Athletics sent you. That's Summit Hospitality, 919-669-0576. This is the Shaw Report with Damian Banks. And we are back on the Shaw Report. Thank you for listening. Again, I am Damian Banks. You know what time it is. You know how I do. So don't act brand new. Follow you on Instagram and Twitter at Sports by Damian. That's S P O R T S B Y D A I M E O N. And Shaw University Athletics are on social media. On Twitter, it's at Shaw Bears. On Instagram, it's at S U underscore Bears. And on Facebook.com backslash Shaw Bears. We thank you kindly. Go to ShawBears.com, download this podcast, download anything that you got related to Shaw University on ShawBears.com. We thank you kindly. Also, we thank Summit Hospitality, great sponsor, proud sponsor of Shaw University Athletics along with Pepsi. But Summit Hospitality, if you're in the Raleigh area, look no further than Summit Hospitality. You're back for a football game. Homecoming is coming up. Maybe you need somewhere to stay. Go to Summit Hospitality. Several Marriott branded hotels in the Raleigh area. Summit Hospitality can hook you up with hotels and lodging. Go to Summit Hospitality. Tell them Shaw University Athletics sent you. But I digress. Before the break, we talked about the 35-0 loss at the hands of Virginia State, the Shaw University football team. Don't fret, guys. You guys will be back in action this Saturday at Fayetteville State. Dust yourself off. Get back on the grind. And let's get this road win in Fayetteville. Up next, I got the Shaw Bears scoreboard. But before I do, wanted to sit down with head volleyball coach Jonathan Polk at Shaw University. Coach Polk is in his first season. Coach Polk and the Lady Bears are putting in work right now. Just finished up a CIAA roundup in Ettrick, Virginia, hosted by Virginia State. And we sat down with Coach Polk right here on the Shaw Report. As promised, Shaw U fans and alum, I had head volleyball coach at Shaw University, Jonathan Polk. Coach Polk and his Lady Bears are fresh off of a CIAA roundup in Ettrick, Virginia. Coach Polk, thanks for joining the Shaw Report. Of course. Thanks for having me. Now, Coach, when I spoke to you earlier in the season, you guys were you know on the road at the Shark Invitational in Florida, if I'm not mistaken. You had just started the season and, you know, Hurricane Dorian, new coach, new team for you, getting acclimated. Tell us a little bit about, update us on, you know, how the squad has improved since the beginning of the season. Oh, well, they've just been coming along tremendously. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing has just been our decision-making. And, uh, you know, just staying disciplined in, in what we do, and the girls are, are doing great, a great job at that. Difficult schedule to start the season, had a couple of tournaments away from Raleigh, was searching for your first win um, at the beginning of the season. But once you got that first win at Livingstone, your team is <laughs> pretty much on fire right now. How did it feel to get your first win, you know, at Shaw University at Livingstone? 
<laughs> it was a relief. <laughs> no, it was it was good. You know, the girls were really excited. Um, I think it was a uh, you know eye opening for them about you know what we can actually do in the in the CIAA. You know, just from the the schedule that we had, especially starting the year. You know, teams were were very very tough, and uh, so it prepped us well. Speak about the early season schedule being tough, and then you get into CIAA play. You got your first win of the season at Livingstone. Then you came home for your home opener last Monday, and you wanted to back up that win at Livingstone, taking on the Lady Golden Bulls of Johnson C. Smith. You were able to come away with a three set to zero win in that one. Followed that one up on Wednesday with another win against Claflin University. So you guys are on a roll. So you go fast forward to this past weekend. You go on the road, CIAA Roundup, Virginia State, Virginia Union, a couple of teams that, you know, in the Northern Division, you go, you may see them in the CIAA tournament later on down the line. Assess your performance in this first CIAA Roundup for your squad. Right. Yeah, so the first Roundup, you know, we didn't really know uh, what to expect, but you know, coming into it, we had the first match on Saturday, and then we followed it up with a back-to-back -back today. We thought it, uh, you know, would be a little bit tougher because we had Virginia Union and Virginia State back-to-back uh, -to -back today, which are two of the top teams in the North, um, especially with our, you know, shortened roster. Uh, but the girls, you know, they've been putting a lot of work in the weight room with Coach Hall and, and doing a lot of work on the side, so we, we manage our... Uh, physicality is pretty well you mentioned saturday starting off that ciaa roundup with a big win three sets to zero over lincoln then fast forward to sunday again you say yeah back-to-back -back matches against northern division you know potential northern division powerhouses in union and virginia state so you knock off union three to one in the first match on sunday then you move on to virginia state full disclosure coach I am a graduate of Virginia State University, but I love Shaw University. Full disclosure, because I'm not going to, hey, I can't lie to you. My mom always told me not to lie. So I did graduate from Virginia State University. Got a lot of love for my alma mater, but I am working with Shaw U, and my heart belongs to Shaw U. So take on Virginia State in that second match, and it's a back and forth affair. You know, it's, State takes the first set. You guys take the next one, and it's back and forth like that. You get to that fifth and deciding set. What do you say to your squad in, you know, before that fifth set starts to get them going and propel them to a victory? Uh, you, you know, the biggest thing, I think, is just reaffirming um, that they are good players and then just making sure our mindset is on, on the right things of making sure that we're doing our job, cycling from roll to roll, and, and making good decisions. As long as we, you know, do those things and stay in it, we're going to have a good shot at anyone. And with that win against Virginia State, you guys are winners of six straight. So you want to keep this winning streak going. Going forward, how do you keep your squad with level heads and expectations of the work hard day in, day out? Because wins are not given. Yes, for sure. Well, you know, I think the, the biggest thing that makes it easy is that you know, we have such a small team. You know, I've, I've preached constantly, if, you know, if we we played this weekend, we only had eight players. And, you know, so if one person goes down or one person's having an off day, it's going to be really tough. So our mindset every day in practice is, you know, nobody has a crush. There's just we don't really have subs to replace anybody, so everyone has to be on their game all the time. And, Coach, your squad has been on its game winners of their last six matches. Again, we're speaking with head volleyball coach at Shaw University, Jonathan Polk. In his first season, I spoke with Coach Polk earlier when he first started the season, and things have drastically turned around for you guys, Coach. And um, I couldn't be more happy before you guys had got through that early tough schedule. Now you're knocking them down, right? Whoever's in front of you, you're knocking them down. So you just finished that CIAA CIAA Roundup, you got a couple of days off to enjoy that victory. Then you're on the road again. You're at Winston. You're at Fayetteville State. You're at Claflin, at St. Augustine's, which is in Raleigh. But we digress. You're on the road quite a bit coming up, Coach. How do you get your squad with that limited roster? What what can has to be your mindset starting this road trip? You know, I think the, the biggest thing is that, you know, we got to make sure we're taking care of our bodies. 
uh, getting enough sleep and, and putting the correct nutrition in, you know, because, you know, traveling will will have wear and tear on the body quite a bit, you know. And